Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome to the Wolf Den. Okay, I'm back, and I'm about ready to start uh, construction on a large project. But first, I wanted to show you guys uh, the materials that I've got. I've got a whole bunch of stone brick. Got a bunch of clean stone. Cobble, of course. Lots of cobble. And if you want to know how I made it all, I expanded my glassworks. It's now 40 furnaces a lot. And a lot of charcoal. Lots of stuff. Nothing in any of them yet, or at the moment. Still got a whole bunch of glass. And if you haven't, if you can't tell, I'm using the John Smith texture pack. I thought I'd try and look at that one today. Yep. Oh, I need uh, probably not a stone axe. Let me make an iron one real quick, or a couple of iron ones. A couple of those. And there we go. Oops. The iron back, the sticks back. And I've got all this birch out here, but I need to clear it. I need to chop it all down. It's in the way. I do have some animals kind of wandering around out here. So. The object for today is to take this hill here and put a castle up here of some kind. Uh, I've got a plan for it. I need to sit down and actually do it. So I'm going to quickly cut through this forest, probably do it uh, speed chopping. So here I go. So I'm going to cut down all this forest and show you guys I've been, or at least let you guys see what I've been doing on camera. I've been doing a lot of logging, chopping wood. There's been a lot of it. Uh, creating a lot of charcoal mostly, because it's, right now it's better for me to use charcoal than it is to try and find more coal. I do have quite a bit, but I want to save it. And I also need a lot of wood for the next project. It looks like the castle is going to be mostly stone brick, but also going to be a lot of wood. And probably need to find some more pine wood. Cut that up. Because there are, I mean, the, the photo has a lot of wood in it uh, a wooden roof, wooden walls. interesting mix of stone castle and wooden um, mansion. <laughs> At least that's what the photo looks like. I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to recreate it, but we'll try. Um, I was able to take a closer look at the, uh, to get some other angles on it and some pictures of the inside. Oddly enough, it's actually bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. I don't know why or how, but... saplings actually make a pretty decent source of fuel. Um, it does take two stacks of saplings to burn or to bake one 
a stack of anything else. But if you have a lot of saplings, like I usually do, um, you can always use them to always get rid of them by using them as fuel in your furnace. And okay, I've finally cleared all of the tree farm that I was or the finally cleared all of the birch trees that I was farming. And I want the castle to line up with the center here, which is going to be a town square eventually. <laughs> and the path should f head over here and I think I'm going to have it start right around here somewhere and then work its way up that hill. So, uh, I think I still need some more dirt to start laying it out. Gonna have to go, or uh, I've placed some dirt here to kind of raise up the first step. And then, uh, I'm not sure where to go from here. Probably should make this portion like five blocks wide. Torches are gonna get in the way. They always do. <laughs> Darn torches. Torches always get in the way. So, okay. Uh, hmm. Oops. Trying to figure this out. Could be a bit confusing as to what I'm doing, but that's gonna be a main. I think there's gonna be like I don't know, maybe two more. Yeah. In the picture, there's or in the example that I'm following, there's like I didn't know this before until I actually got up close to it. There's actually a moat here, but it doesn't go all the way around the castle. It's just like a little lake <laughs> right in front of the... And there's a bridge that goes over that. So... I think I need a three space here. And then we start that. Uh... Doors! I don't know how to do the doors. I wanted it to be too wide, but it looks like it's going to have to be three again. So I might have to put, like, a door here and a door here, and then have a block, a, um, a log in between, or something. But this is also confusing. It needs to be okay. We'll go three wide, and then five wide, and then two more. And there's these log pillars on the inside, like that. There's a bunch of them. So I also need the main entry hall to be like this. I want there to be this, this walk space between the pillars. I would like it to be too wide. And there's another torch in the way. Let's just move that over here for now. Maybe put a torch there. Okay. So. I 
that being like that, um, two space, another pillar. I don't know how many pillars I should put. And I'm out of dirt. So I will be right back. Okay, grab some more dirt. Just mark out some more pillars. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we'll go five pillars. One, two, three. And it would be here. Here. And there. So that will be five. Bring that down. Put another one there. Okay. That should work. And then after that, there are. Um, so let's mark out the wall. Like that. And. Um, where do I want... There's going to be these wings that stick out from each side. Do I put it at the pillar? Yeah, let's try putting it at the pillar and see what happens. Not sure how far... Let's go five. And then maybe seven? Well, how wide is this here? So this is five. One, two, three, four. 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 12 wide. So we should make the other one also 12 wide. I guess. Is this an even number? It is an even number. How is that? Okay, this is me just trying to figure out how to lay out the exterior walls for this building. And it's taken some time. I have to think about how I'm going to do this. I have to kind of measure it all out. And then tear it down again and redo it. It's a rather time consuming process. So that over there is 13 wide. So, I'm going to make this another odd number. I'm going to make it like seven, I think. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. How about nine? Eight, nine. Let's see what our pillars say. Does the pillars continue up on the inside? think that might work. Nine? Yeah, we'll go nine. Oh, how far out was it? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. It sticks out five. One, it. 
two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It looks like we've got some outer walls figured out. Now comes the part where the castle actually changes from being a wooden style structure to primarily stone. And it's like a big square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark out like a center. Use this uh, gravel to kind of give me an idea as to where that should be. If you haven't noticed already, the, uh, the grass is changing, or the, the dirt is changing to grass. And I'm out of gravel. So I think I'm going to stop recording and when I figure out where the center of the the main castle part is supposed to be, I will get right back. Okay, so I've got everything pretty much laid out the way I want it. So what I'm going to do next is start laying down the stone base here. Um, go back and remove some of the markings, some of the dirt, and put the stone down. I think it's just going to have like a single layer of stone. Oops. That's why I don't use the stone to mark it out in the first place, is because I don't like having to use my pickaxe to break it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish laying out the, the f stone foundation, and I will get right back. Okay, looks like some of the basic uh, layout is, is done. Uh, had to level out some of the hill a little bit to make it look uh, a little better. But now I need to start working on the exterior wall and possibly the floor here. Mm, you know I want the corners to have pine. Well, I'm going to put this corner in over here and over here. And I know these pillars are going to be pine too. Eh. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, don't like any of that. Let's... Cause the floor here is all gonna be wood planks like this. across there. So the doors will be here. And I think I'm gonna just make the walls out of wood for now. So 
So I'll go ahead and put it down like that. Oops, did I just fill in the door? <laughs> so I did. I filled in the doors. And uh, wrong block. Now this first portion of the building is going to have to be two stories high, or about that. Let's make some gravel staircase here. Oh, I still got to do the other side over there. Now, I'm probably going to build this up look at it, you know, stand back, look at it, see how it is, might have to change it, don't know, honestly I won't know until it's done. Right now I'm still just guessing as to what it's going to look like, okay, so... If that were a floor, I think, yeah, that would be where the floor would come in, but it's not, it's going to be a big vaulted, big vaulted room with these pillars in the middle. Actually, I don't need the door up this high. Oops. <laughs> okay, um, looks like one more set. That should be good. Oops. Okay, um, that is a really rough idea of what it's going to look like. Um, took another look at the picture and realized that there's this window and a kind of a dormer on each side. So I went back and I tried cutting that out to, to look but still it doesn't look anything like what the pictures look like. Uh, the roof on the picture is way too steep. It's more like a 30 degree angle roof. It's just very, very steep. And Minecraft, that's kind of hard to do. So that is a beginning. So hopefully over the course of the next couple of days, I'll be able to add on to the rest of it. There's kind of another wing over here, and then a big stone, big stone fortress in the back. So, I'll keep working on it, and you guys get to watch as I figure this thing out, go through several permutations. So, until next time, this is One Wolf saying, have a good day.